All right, at this point, I'm close to finishing my color studies. I just need to try painting my characters using the tools that I've gathered for the book. Now this includes the type of paint that I'll be using, the color palette that I've chosen, and my paint brushes. So in this video, I'm testing them out on some of my main characters. But I'm not just doing this to determine the right color assignments for each character. I'm also doing this to test out the execution or the manner in which I would be coloring the different characters. Now, you'll notice my characters, they've been designed with an edgy outline. It looks that way not because it's my drawing style, although it will eventually be associated with my drawing style. But the real reason behind the design of my characters was I was aware that I would be painting them using flat brushes. So I made sure the contours of my character design were a little bit edgy, where there are sharp corners around them. So they can be colored in neatly using a flat brush. In the same way, I designed the characters in my previous book, Little Wolf. The wolves there have pointy feet. Well, actually, they don't have feet or paws. They just have pointy stumps. It was because I knew I was going to use colored pencils. In particular, Caran d'Ache Luminance colored pencils. And these pencils are quite chunky. And I knew, having tested them and done color studies with them, that they were incapable of sharpening to a very fine point. And so I knew I was limited by that physical property. Well, you could sharpen them to a fine point, but they get very blunt very quickly. So that dictated the way I drew the characters in that book. And that's why they ended up with pointy stumps for feet. Not only would I be using chunky colored pencils, I also knew the exact paper size that I would be using to illustrate that book. And so that allowed me to foresee several panels where I would be drawing the wolves really tiny. And so with that in mind, I designed the wolf characters in a way that would enable me to draw them really tiny, but at the same time, still make them discernible as wolves. And so my style of drawing characters are really not mine. It's ultimately determined by the tool that I'll be using. Now, having done a number of these color study sheets, at this point, I already know what colors I'll be using for the new book, depending on the scene and which characters are in them. So in the next video, I'll be creating a final color swatch to serve as a guide for me so that I can stick to a consistent look and feel for the entire book.